want to pay some attention to long wave, long wave radio reception. And on the channel of Ingers Silinch, and I have already made a video about them, you can find many good working videos and I saw that he used a loop antenna. I don't want to use a loop antenna, perhaps in the future. Uh, I want to do more experiments with that, but anyway. So this is only the very very first ID. Uh, what I want to show is how you can tune, say how you can find out a certain coil for these low frequencies. This is for instance an old uh, computer coil and then I mean from a computer power supply. It's a ring core, it's a ferrite core. Uh, ferrite has very good high frequency properties. And I'm using now my uh, the circuit that I've published earlier on YouTube. It is a test oscillator and with that test oscillator you can set such a coil into oscillation. And then of course you know on which frequency such a coil oscillates. That is no guarantee that this uh, will also work as an antenna coil. Because an oscillator coil, local oscillator coil, differs in a certain way in its properties, how it is made from an antenna coil. Anyway, it's only, say, an ID, and this is that coil that I've showed, and these are, say, the channels that I want to receive, and I say I want to receive because it's absolutely not sure that that is going to work, and when you want to, uh, say, make such a long wave radio, uh, go to the channel of Inge Silinch. I will give the, the link to his channel in the text box. I don't want to use a loop antenna, perhaps in the future I only want to use a long wire antenna. And uh, these frequencies are very low and that means that the antenna length, the ideal antenna length, is in the order of hundreds of meters. Uh, but you can also use a half wave antenna or a quarter wave antenna. That's what I'm trying, going to try anyway. Um, and, and I will also want to say uh, perhaps this is only a first video and there will be no second one anyway. Again, what is, what is it all about? This is the test oscillator and when I turn that knob here, I will show the schematic. On the scope we see suddenly that the coil starts to oscillate. Not the coil, but the oscillator starts to oscillate. You can read the frequency, it is 141 kilohertz. And say the, uh, the, the it's say below the lowest frequency of the frequencies that you can receive on long wave. By the way, long wave has also many many problems, uh, say noise, all kinds of electromagnetic clicks, etc. etc. But anyway, um, so it's below 183 kilocycles, this coil combined with this capacitor. Parallel capacitor is parallel tuning. And this capacitor is 1500 picofarad. So, uh, when I disconnect it, of course, disconnect the cap, of course the frequency will go up. Let's see. Disconnect it now. And now we are on 189 uh, kilohertz. Well, that's uh, in a certain way in the order where I want to receive my radio stations, at least the lowest frequency. And I have to say, the coil is inside this oscillator um, uh, parallels 
with a uh, 100 picofarad capacitor. I can have, say I've aligned it here, 100 picofarad, so this coil with 100 picofarad uh, gives this frequency. Let's see whether we can get uh, another frequency. When I turn the, the, the test oscillator, you can see here that the coil also oscillates and oscillates much better on 3.3 kilohertz. And now I switch further, well, no result. So this coil oscillates on that 189 um, kilohertz with that 100 picofarad capacitor, but it is not on its ideal resonance. Here it is more or less on its ideal resonance, uh, 3 to 3 kilohertz, and that is far beyond the reach of uh, all these long wave radio stations. So, uh, what will be, say, the things to do? Find a capacitor here in combination with the coil that um, the oscillator has a high uh, output and high amplitude output on this frequency. And then we have, say, an ID about the first antenna coil that can be used. Of course, the antenna also plays a role. When you use a loop antenna, it's, it's properly tuned to say such a low frequency, these frequencies, and the good part is that it also only acts on the magnetic part of the radio signal. That means all kinds of electric disturbances are uh, uh, not picked up by the radio. But anyway, I don't want to use it at first sight. So, uh, this was more or less all. Thanks for watching. Only a first ID. Perhaps you can take profit of this whole setup. This looks, of course, say, uh, like a piece of timber, but it is a real and serious uh, test oscillator. Schematic is on YouTube. Thanks for watching.